I'm going to play solitaire for American style mahjong. If you don't know how to play yet, there are links below the video to the lesson playlist. This is a really great way to practice the pick and discard phase of the game. You just have to be able to block your mind from what is going on in each of the hands and play one hand at a time. If you want to learn how to play Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and you just want to improve your game, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on anything. Let's play Solitaire. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. I'm going to use this tool here that I call the Charleston Helper, just so I make sure that I'm passing to the right racks, because it can get a little complicated. And then I'm gonna use this to mark whose turn it is, because I've gotten mixed up before. I would recommend using some kind of a marker so you don't get mixed up. All my tiles are out here and they've been mixed. I'm going to take 14 tiles for east and then 13 for the, each of the other three racks. I always like to do this to double check to make sure everybody has the right number of tiles. If you do four on each side, you should have five in the middle for non-dealer and then for the dealer, six in the middle. That way you don't have to count them all individually. Okay, let's start with East and see what we can do with their hand. So for East, or this first player, they have one multiple here. Speaking of which, I want to kind of demonstrate how a couple strategies work. I'm going to call this one Targeted Onset. Targeted onset is where you build around multiples. That's my favorite strategy. So we're going to do a targeted onset for one of these hands. And then for the other one, we're going to do what I call maximum usage. And that's just where you use as many tiles as possible, regardless of multiples. So we're going to try to pick the best one for each. So for now, if we were to do targeted onset for this one, we would build around these sixes. So for these sixes, I think I would play something, maybe three, six, nine. The problem with that is we have no threes. We could, I think, maybe play something with two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. maybe something consecutive with five, seven, six, five, six, seven, or two, four, six, eight. We're kind of in between. Either way, I think we could maybe throw those three. So that would be using targeted onset for this hand. Let's see if there's another example that might be a good demonstration. Let's look at South. For South, they have a multiple here of an eight. I'm thinking maybe a lucky 13. We need fives though, but we could use these for missing fives. I think I would keep this eight in case a like number option comes in there. I think we could probably go ahead and throw those because if we get five cracks, we could even use this three for lucky 13. So we're in between lucky 13 and like numbers. And we could throw those. Let's look at this one.
Okay, for this one, I think we have ones, a pair of ones. I'm thinking we could maybe play one, ones and nines with three, five, seven in the middle, maybe here. Or we could maybe play a year hand. Let's give up those three. Let's. Okay, so for north, let's do a maximum usage with evens. Two, four, six, eight. So we have a pair of threes here, but we have a lot of two, four, six, eight. So just to do a demonstration, let's go ahead and not build around those multiples there with the threes and build around two, four, six, eight, because there are six of them as opposed to, I suppose we could do something consecutive with two, three, four, five. There'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So really there's one more tile around that three using consecutive, but just to do a demonstration, let's build around two, four, six, eight and not build around the, the multiple of that three. So we have tiles to pass now. This first hand, we're going to do a targeted onset building around the six bam. This hand is between like numbers and lucky 13. This hand is one, three, five, seven, nine. So an odd hand. And this hand is two, four, six, eight. So we are going to do the Charleston now where east is gonna to pass to south. South is going to pass to west, west to north, and north to east. And we're going to now see what everybody got. So they're playing a two, let's see, two, four, they're in between two, four, six, eight, or five, six, seven, five, six, seven, or five, six, seven, eight. A five, seven came in there. Maybe five, six, seven with sixes in the middle. We could even maybe play a three, six, nine. Let's give up on the two, four, six, eight and build around either three, six, nine or five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, maybe even. There's like numbers though. I don't like passing like numbers. Here's four, five, maybe four, five, four, five, six. We have to pick a hand because I don't want to pass a white dragon and I don't want to pass like numbers. We have to really pick a hand here or narrow down our categories because we're in between three, six, nine and four, five or uh, consecutive. So even this three could maybe be used with a three, four, five, six. Let's give up the nines. We're going to play consecutive around these sixes. So let's go ahead and pass one of each suit maybe here. Uh, there. Let's see here. There we go. One of each suit. And that's a good pass too. All right, let's look at south. So we're trying to get them to either like numbers or lucky 13. None of those are good. But I think I would go ahead and break that up and pass the three nine north instead of two wins. Let's look at west. We are looking at one nine in cracks with three, five, seven in the middle. 
those are not good keepers. Let's break that up though and maybe pass. Oh, I think we were thinking about maybe playing a, a year hand. Let's keep the seven because we could maybe play the year hand if we get twos and whites and dragons. Let's look at north. So here we're playing a two, four, six, eight. Here's a six and an eight. Oops. Okay, two, four, six, eight. We don't have to pick a hand. Here is a multiple. That might be good joker bait. So let's pass those three. So we did first right. Now we're going to move on to the cross pass. So north and south will pass. And east and west. Okay, let's look at east. So if we're doing four, five, six, seven, we're going to keep every four, five, six, seven we can until we run out of discards. Let's just keep the seven. Four, five, six, seven. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Even odd wind. I think that's one of the best passes you could do. Let's look at south. Okay, we picked up another multiple with the three crack here. One, three, three. We're kind of in between like numbers with threes or like numbers with eights. We do have an east and a west though. We could play east and west with eights. Let's give up on lucky 13 and play either east and west with eights or like numbers with eights or threes. We'll pass those. Let's look at west. We got a keep, did we get a keeper here? Seven, I think so, because these need to be pairs. We need three dots. We got a seven. Let's give up the dragon at this point because we could play a five, seven, seven, nine hand and use these for joker bait during the pick and discard phase of the game. If someone puts out an exposure with a joker, we could maybe use these to get a joker in exchange. Let's pass those three. I, the white dragons really have not come in. I think we should give up on the year hand. Let's look at north. So they're trying to get a two, four, six, eight hand. Those did not help. We'll pass those. So we went across. Now we're going to do first left. First left, east passes to north. North passes to west, west to south, and south to east. Let's look at it. So here we have three, four, five, six. We've got a three. And we have tiles we can pass. Still don't have to pick a hand. We're building around now the three and the six. We're playing three, four, five, six. We could probably get rid of the seven at this point too. So let's pass that instead of the dragon. I think dragons are valuable. If you don't have to pass them, try not to. Actually, I don't want to get stuck passing two dragons. Let's, um, let's go ahead and pass it. Let's see. Well, let's pass it like that. That way we're not passing a year hand with the one bam red seven crack. Okay, let's look at south. So we're doing like, uh, like numbers. Oh, we got an east. Like numbers or east and west with eights. I think that's probably stronger because of that multiple now than the flower. So let's pass these three next. Let's look at west. Okay, we got that three. Look, one, three, five, seven, nine. We did get a nine here. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus one, two, three, four, five, six for five, seven, five, five, seven, seven, nine. 
So we're in between the odd hand, third from the bottom, ones and nines with three, five, seven pairs in the middle. That is a 30 point hand or five, seven, seven, nine. And that would be the second hand down on the right. Either way, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus one or one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we've got to make a decision. So we're going to go ahead and play the, the bigger option. There's one or more tile towards this hand. Let's see what North got. They picked up a two. Two, four, six, eight. We have discards, so we don't have to pick a hand. This is going to be a little risky because North and South in 2017 goes with odds. But I think we need to leave our options open here. I'm thinking if we can get a flower, we might be able to play the two, four, six, eight pair hand. Okay, so we went to first left. Now we're going to do second left. Second left, east will pass to north. North to west, west to south, and south to east. So let's look at what East got. Okay, we've got a three. If we're playing three, four, five, six, three, four, three, four, five, we wouldn't need the sixes. We need to build around those sixes. I'm thinking we should switch to a three, six, nine hand. Three, six, three, six, nine. We could still maybe play three, four, five, six. So I think I would hold the four. So let's pass one of each suit. I was also thinking we could do two, three, four, five, and use these as joker bait, maybe. Let's see what South got. Eights. Um, let's pass three seven north maybe we could play a quint with the east and the eight and the red let's see what west got <clears throat> they got a nine dot here we have one nine i think we should go ahead and pass those if we get a one bam we're kind of in between the one and nine option let's see what north got they picked up a two dot It'd be nice if they could get a flower. We have tiles to pass. Okay, so we did second left. We're now going to do second across. North and south will pass. And east and west. Let's see what east got. They got the nine dot. Three, six, those could be the pairs three, six, nine. We could still maybe play four, five, three, four, five, six. Let's pass those three. That's really risky. But this player is in between two hands. Let's see what South has. They got that red. I'm thinking we should play a quint. We definitely need more jokers though. So let's just hold these, let's see, east and west with eights. I do not want to pass a flower. We just did second across. We're on last right. Next, I'm going to pass one blind because I don't want to break up. If we play east and west, east and west with eights. or a quint. Let's just do it. Let's give up the, the like numbers. We'll play a quint. Let's go ahead and see what West has. They got a keeper. 
5.19357 in the middle. They have two, three tiles. We'll give up on the nine BAM and pass those. Let's see what North has. They need evens, they got odds. Okay, so now we're going to do last right. So North will pass to East. East to South. South to West. And West to North. Okay, let's see. East picked up a three crack. These are discards. Optional cross, I think I would do too. I don't like passing white dragons. I think that is equal to the risk of passing a flower. So I try not to do it. So here now we have a quint potential. Here's north, south, east, west with dragons. We could maybe even play east and west with dragons. I think I would pass these two. Okay, I don't know. Maybe those two. It's kind of dangerous to pass winds and dragons together like that. That's a bit crazy I think um, maybe even the north and south they have been going around so we'll see okay those are all pass passing tiles that one came in though we can pass those let's see about north okay they got a four bam and then two tiles to pass there. If they're gonna play a two, four, six, eight pair hand where they need those flowers, they really don't need these. I think I would keep the two because we could switch them to like numbers maybe. Let's pass those three. So we are now on optional cross. For optional cross, north and south will pass, but south only wants two. So we're going to pass those two and these two. And then, and then east and west will pass. And east wants to pass two, so we'll pass these two. Actually, let's pass these two. Maybe that nine bam will come back. Okay. So let's see how this goes. Nothing. These are discards. Three, six, nine, I think. And then here we have discards. Here, discards. And here, discards. Okay, so we're done with the Charleston now. We can start the pick and discard phase of the game. So just as a recap, 369 here with a fallback to 45 or three, four, five, six consecutive two suit hand. That would be the second one down under consecutive run. For the second hand here, player two, I'm thinking a quint, eights, red, east, with a potential fallback to east and west with eights maybe, or east and west with dragons. Okay, so for player three, I'm thinking one nine in cracks with three, five, seven in the middle. Now that is a hand where the ones and nines have to be conged. So they're a bit behind the curveball here, but they can totally pass those without a problem. Then with the player four, we have a two, four, six, eight hand. They need the six bam and the six dot, and then a couple of flowers to play maybe the pair hand, but they can throw those away. So let's start by getting rid of the white dragon for east. White dragon, and now we're going to draw for south. They picked a joker, isn't that nice? Because if they're playing a quint, they need all the jokers they can get. Let's throw the nine bam, nine bam, and we're gonna play for west. They drew a four dot, even though it looks pretty, they need odds 
not dots. So let's go ahead and just throw the north. I've been thinking a lot about winds. If during the Charleston, nobody was keeping winds. So I would get rid of the winds as soon as possible and hold on to number tiles for the purpose of potentially getting jokers out of these number tiles. We'll see what happens. So I just threw a north. Let's draw four north. We got that six. We need flowers for this player. Here's two, four, six, eight, two, four. We need a six band, a six dot, I mean. And then eight, we need two flowers. This would be the two, four, six, eight pair hand, fourth one down under singles and pairs. Let's discard the north. It was already discarded. And we're gonna draw now for east. There's a one bam. We can discard that and draw for south. North, two are out. We'll discard it. Drawing for west. Two crack, that's a discard. They're playing odds. Let's draw for north. Three dot. Let's get rid of the south and draw for east. White dragon, already threw it. Let's get rid of it and draw for south. Seven bam. Let's, let's just throw the seven crack, either one. And we'll draw now for west. Six dot. Yeah, that's a discard. Let's throw the seven bam. Nobody can take a seven bam, so we're going to draw for north. Nine crack. That is a discard for them. Nine crack. Nobody can take the nine crack, so let's draw for east. They drew an east. They're trying to get three, six, nine. So let's see. A south was already thrown. Let's throw the south and draw for south. Nine bam. I think it was already thrown. Nine bam. And let's draw for west. Green. Let's just get rid of it now. Green. And draw for north. If you have dragons and you don't need them, discard them early so you're not stuck with them because there's only three of them. If somebody's collecting dragons, you want to get rid of them if you're not going to use them. Seven crack. Discard. Let's draw for east. Joker. That is nice. Let's go ahead and discard the east. East. Now it's south's turn. We're going to have them declare a quint with that east. They need jokers or that eight crack and a red. Let's throw the seven bam and draw for west. Six dot. There's a bit of joker bait right there. Let's discard the four dot and hold on to the six dot. Maybe we'll get a joker out of it. Let's draw for north. Seven bam. That's been thrown. Let's draw for east. Flower. We'll keep that for a little while. Let's go ahead and discard. None of these are out. There's a two crack out. Let's throw that. Two crack. And then let's draw for south. Five crack. Discard. We'll draw for west. Eight bam. That's been discarded. Nope, not yet. Eight bam. What else do we have? Nine bam's been discarded. Let's throw that and draw four north. Six dot. Oh goodness, they need they need an eight bam and a flower. Let's throw the three dot. This player needs a three dot, but you can't call for a pair. You gotta draw it yourself, or it could be the winning tile. Let's draw for east now. One bam, that's a discard. That's not gonna be helpful at all. Okay, there's already one out. Let's discard that and draw for south. Seven dot, discard. Drawing for west. Three dot, they got it. 
let's discard the one bam and draw for north two bam let's get rid of the six crack so if they can't get flowers they need to come up with another plan maybe they should switch to like numbers with twos let's draw for east flower there's a, another flower here so they might be able to play three six nine in mixed suits and leverage the pair of flowers this would be the third hand down on the right under three six nine pair of flowers kong of three kong of sixes kong of nines they do have that gap there though let's throw the eight bam so eight bam is discarded and we're going to draw four south west yeah they committed to a quint let's get rid of the green dragon and draw four west one dot let's get rid of the eight bam okay now north is on alert because there are two eight bams out at this point they got their flower let's get rid of the two bam they need that eight bam desperately let's draw for east south that can be discarded and we can draw for south four bam discard drawing for west red dragon discard red south is going to pung it or kong it kong let's discard the west they need eight cracks or jokers or the east and the red so let's go ahead and draw for west six crack we can discard that and draw for north five bam that's a discard let's draw for east green's been discarded we can throw that and draw for south eight dot that's not going to be helpful but we don't need the west discard drawing for west there's a seven dot let's get rid of the one dot and draw for north they got that flower and the eight bam is still out two crack discard they're ready to win on an eight bam let's look at uh east seven crack that's a discard let's draw for south five bam discard drawing for west four dot that's a discard and drawing for north one dot discard let's draw for east five bam discard drawing for south seven bam discard west six dot that could be joker bait right there let's throw the seven dot drawing for north nine dot discard and now east let's kong it two jokers are out there now let's discard the five crack that's been thrown and we can draw for south two dot that is a discard drawing for west white dragon discard drawing for north west discard let's draw for east four bam discard drawing for south they need they need help they're playing a quint they need help eight bam discard eight bam mahjong right here pair hand north one with a pair hand maximum usage in this case went well for them so that's the pair hand with two four six eight the third one down 
I'm sorry, the four, let's see, fourth one down. Two flowers, two, four, six, eight in one suit, two, four, six, eight in a second suit where the twos and eights are paired. Targeted on set was one tile short from being set. So they were chasing this maximum usage strategy hand. Here, we needed jokers and eights, maybe a red or east. So that hand was fairly close, but they're behind the curve, Paul, because they only had three jokers, which is the minimum for quints, but more is better if you're playing quints. Then this hand here, they could not get their ones and nines, so they were really behind the pack. So that was interesting. Let me know what you think about comparing these strategies, the targeted onset where you build around multiples versus maximum usage where you play the most of what you have regardless of multiples. I think I'll continue to compare these and see how it goes after months of tracking results. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Write it in the comment section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn new strategies. Maybe pick up on an inside of the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for National Mahjong League style, may all your picks be keepers.